I'm, I guess I'm happy I threw away all my creepy, I was trying to compete with Young, he had red books, they were probably like le red leather from some red animal. I can't go there, I'll try to steal one. I think he would help me. Whatever, man, mine were way cooler because he was not a homeschooling mom. He was not trying to go off the grid because he did not know how bad things were going to get. What the? The Africans are talking to me. Don't worry, it's not Elon Musk. These are real people. I'm like Elon Musk. The good thing is I was so obsessed with myself and my enlightenment. My impending enlightenment, my impending doom. I have them all memorized. My kids can tell you, Christian can tell you. Yeah, she sat there and read her journals and cried. Half the time I was writing in them, half the time I was reading them. You no, know, a lot of that time I was playing solitaire. I mean, and also doing all my other work. A lot of it. Let's call this Notes of an Abusive Mother's Horror Movie. Did you hear this? I put this on here, I clipped it out of our paper to remind myself why my kids weren't in school. It's all about how the teachers all carried guns. I was like, well, that makes sense. Uh, read you all of this. I hope that some poor homeschooling mother who hates homeschooling will put her kids in school. She'll come across this video. I could never find anybody saying it. You can find people on YouTube saying you don't have to breastfeed, but once you join the homeschool cult, if you're a homesteader, it's just like your kids will be fine in school. They always were. May they get shot? They might, but they could also get shot in your own house. Shot in your backyard, shot in church, Birmingham. Send your kids to school if you're miserable. I wasn't miserable. I put too much on myself. That was my three fix. It must be miserable to be a three. Tom Cruise. The only reason that I'm so much like a three is because my mother wouldn't let me be a seven, so I became a three wing two. Now I'm just a seven wing six. But boy, is that three still strong. The nine is fading fast. If I'm a nine, I'm a nine wing eight now, and they're scary. My husband is. April 2014. Oh, he was not even five. Oh, can count. Look at my beautiful handwriting. Can count to ten perfectly every time. Vanilla ice. Thanks to Numberland, smiley face. Consistently writes H-O or O-H when writing his name. Look how much credit I gave him. But Ocelot couldn't write E, L, L, E. That's why he named his child. Just a bunch of gibberish. Knows his town, state, and country! Exclamation point. Working on the alphabet. Almost there. Boy, I was excited. So excited that I wrote that it was September and then December 8th. There's a big gap right there. Who knows what was going on between April and December. Oh yeah. Caroline. I was walking. Says alphabet perfectly almost every time. We worked really hard to stop saying cage instead of H. That's exactly something a tiger mom would say. We worked really hard. What I mean is, leave that poor kid alone. He would say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. He had to think really hard about it and then he would say cage. I, oh, I lost it. My friend Brandy was like, it's gonna be okay. Recognize this written numbers one through 10. We're working on 11 through 30. I think he'll master it quickly. He can sound out words that contain the letter sounds he knows so far with help. Recognizes all lowercase letters, exclamation point. That amazes me. See, Hobson, I did think you're smart. Uh, I came up with this schedule Sunday through Saturday. Reading, 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 reading. Optional reading, optional reading, reading. Park day, Lego class. Math, 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 math. <laughs> Why not Friday? I guess because we had Lego class. He was four. <laughs> Art once a week, social study once a week, science twice a week, mud pies to magnets. Geography, use the map and the globe, identify continents, oceans, Texas, Mexico, Canada. Focus on days of the week, month of the year, counting. I was losing it by fall of 2015. Don't worry, I read The Witches Aloud. And he was a very good listener. <laughs> I bet he was. He was probably like, that sounds a lot like you, Mom. And I put on a wig and started scratching my scalp. He probably went. 
This was my brainstorm. My mom taught me how to do this when you're losing your mind. So on November 20, something of 2015, he was about to be six. Mission statement brainstorm. Always be consistent during lessons. He can get praise after getting on task, even if the whole lesson has been difficult. That was kind of me. Be consistent. I'm a big believer in consistency. I didn't say be consistent. It says be in the moment during lessons. Then I said be consistent with discipline and rewards and firm. How much, whatever. Uh, it just goes on. Accessibility of learning materials. I am here, underlined with them. They know they're important and safe and have stability. It won't be the same public school. When not doing school, they have free play, imagination, structure, cooperation, and entertain themselves. Not quite true, but whatever. Why do I assume you would have a better teacher than me? What if she didn't like him? Even if she did, she couldn't or shouldn't have as much enthusiasm as I do when he progresses and succeeds. Here he gets instant feedback. <laughs> ah, the guy in the Marriott's like, I got instant feedback and I don't even know her. Nor was it feedback that I required or desired. Here's his sight words he accomplished. 2015 overview view. So just so you know, it asterisk does not include all trips to Nacogdoches, libraries, parks, not to mention errands, such as the post office, grocery shopping. Who was I trying to prove this to? Well, I should have brought this to court. Jamie Walsh and the kids came over in January. We went to the homeschool house. Thank you very much, Jennifer. The uh, homeschool Valentine's Day party. Super Science Circus, SFA. That was so cool. Park Day. Homeschool house. The Moore family. What's it? She's not watching this. Houston Children's Museum and the Wake Children's Museum in one month without my ex-husband. And I hated driving in the cities. God. Maybe we went to Galveston vacation. Sam Houston Festival. Jamie came over again. Me and Jamie. Me and Joe got married. Now they're Satanists. In June, we saw that cool marionette thing at the Crockett Library. We visited Scary Mary. Catered a birthday party. That's coming up. Because my kids are going to be here. I am showing up to that birthday party as a clown, as Casey. <laughs> Brandy. Brandy doesn't know. She doesn't watch this. I'm going to show up as a clown at my son's best friend's birthday party. I'm just going to jump off the tree. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Kate would appreciate that. We went to a cool show at Camp Street Cafe in Crockett. You should go there. Famous people. Sometimes it's a power move. Famous people play there. Lightning Hopkins was there. I mean, not now. He's not in Kate Ultra. July went to that cool pool party in Austin for fireworks. Another Galveston vacation? What's going on in 2015? We had a kickoff party in August. All these park days, Dr. Pepper Museum, Dr. Kirsten Escobar, Tammy, that's the mother of um, Harry Styles' future mother in law, you may recall. We went to Lego class three times. That required a drive to Nacogdoches of 90 miles each way. That's all we were, well, did my grocery shopping, got a shit ton of raw milk. Brought it home to everybody in Centerville in glass jars. Wow. November, we went to Austin and San Antonio. In December, we had park days, Christmas parades, to James and Micah's, went to the airport, birthday parties. I'm just going to publish this. Hey, was I still writing here in 2019? I hope so. I hope it says, thanks to the uncles. Uh, ooh, no, that stuff was in my as you know, those all extremely holy. Oh, these are my Enneagram notes for them. I'm going to publish this stuff. You can't have it. I'm publishing just like this. So lazy. I'm just going to photocopy it. Wesley Willison. King goes. Special self. Let's see. I decided in uh, August of 2018, before Perk, the other day, Caroline looked very troubled and said, I don't even know what the earth is. What space is. I don't know anything. <laughs> she was five and a half. I was really trying to force them to watch a bunch of science stuff. I should have just stuck with Magic School Bus. We burned through those, man. That's true. She says that a lot. That's T.I. I don't even know what the Earth is. What space is. I don't know anything. Well, not to worry. She was already Joan of Arc. That's all I had to say about that. 
uh, around that same time, Vanilla Ice was upset that she wouldn't let him help her with something. And he said, she's not my sister. How can I be a big brother if she won't let me help her? My name is Hobson, and that means helper, but no one lets me help. He was nine. He was her age. He was about to be nine. Well, they let him help now. I'm not sure he's too happy about that. Oh, here's me freaking out about not doing projects with them, so I had to make a list. Embroidery, that was intense. Origami was intense. Ask Vienna. Flipbook animation was supposed to be fun, but I ruined it. Paper mache was cool. The slime making got real old real fast. During my suicidal depression, yeah, I got pretty mad about the slime. Oh yeah, the cornhouse dolls. Well, Christian did it, so I was happy about that. Oh, pressing wildflowers was fun for me. And making coconut milk from a coconut was way too much work. And then all the gardening stuff. All the times they cooked and baked with me. What am I trying to prove? Oh, that's really happy. Lots of exclamation points. That's happy. You'll be happy to know that on January 25th of 2019, before personalitycafe.com, run my vertical scope after. <laughs> she simply blossomed. She did. Okay, then I start to take control of everything right before my tragic kickball accident. Right before I joined Port Perk. Here we go. All right, now I'm on Port Perk. Thank you. Who's that? Oh, you're welcome. I never know who's here. Okay, have a good night. It says, May 27, 2019. Hey, go cross-reference this with the bullshit that I wrote on Perk. Astrology saved my homeschooling butt today. I'll write about it in this notebook rather than my journal, which is good because it'd be in the landfill. Caroline and I had a confrontation regarding reading that escalated so quickly it made me doubt again my ability to do this. I sat in front of my Jesus picture. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry. But then I realized, uh, Moon and Aries, she likes to fight. Fighting has the opposite effect on her. It makes her feel more secure. That's how I feel now. I want all my Libra and Moon goodies, communication, agreement, harmony, and fairness. If I expect her to ever enjoy those things, I better learn to appreciate a good headbutting. I did. Big pat on the back. Because after all that, after yelling, grabbing her, squeezing her arms till I sight I might leave a bruise, throwing her down on her bed. Why am I reading this on the internet? Um, she was doing the same things to me, though. And locking her in her room... Dot, dot, dot. Eventually she came out, read the book effortlessly and cheerfully, and we went on with our day. What? That's what it says. What? Just remember, Moon and Aries, let me just be grateful that she's building me nerves of steel. Say that again. I want to let her be self-directed and independent, but she must also learn to respect authority when necessary, which means I must stand my ground with her sometimes, no matter how hard it is for me. Maybe it will get easier. No, it never did. Okay, wait a second. So then we skip the entire summer of me on Perk. Do I talk about it in here? Oh, it's the beginning of the depression. Sigh. Even as things are going so well, Hobbs reading like a maniac. Do you remember that, Hobson? I don't think he remembers them. Tearing through Harry Potter books. Vanilla Ice. How the Mighty Have Fallen. His math skills are really solidifying. Carol almost finished with the first grade workbook, reading, writing, and drawing of her own volition all the time. It just takes so little to push me to the edge of despair again. I don't feel like I'm doing enough, but I also feel like I can't do more. It's a terrible thing, this panic. Totally pointless. It only paralyzes me and makes me lash out at them. Surely the devil's work. Well, no, it's just called being a three. God, that's how Tom Cruise feels all the time. Katy Perry has a three fix. That's how she felt when she... Whatever. I updated it. Well, I guess I'm getting smarter about this. I didn't give in to the feeling completely. I didn't go psycho on the kids, although I did warn them that I was on the verge of doing so. Warning Hobbs always takes seriously. Caro, less so. 
Still did a lot. Math, writing. I read a long book to them. I thought it said Trotsky. Well, just as good. I read a long book to them about the Trail of Tears. Why? Caroline was six. Hobson was nine. About to be ten. What? No. Yeah. And then I wrote, that sure puts things in perspective. I was always trying to do that. And we watched a short YouTube video about it to reinforce it. In case they were audio visual learners. Then I decided to go look for pecans, since that's apparently so important to me. Very, very pleasant. They really enjoyed it. And now Carol is cracking pecans on the porch. And the point is, I have no intention of putting them in school. Best laid plans, right? Then worrying about homeschooling is a waste of time. Just pray, 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 and keep your head down. Oh, it's really falling apart. Phone call with mom, talking about discernment and her Centerville property uncertainty. Oh my God, on top of all my despair, I'm counseling my mother about something that mattered not at all. And I start my Roman numerals, and that's as far as I got. Establishing a proper attitude and understanding of what is required of me. Never got to number two. Yes. Not to worry, Vienna came. I was grateful. I was already suicidal. COVID was about to hit fast and hard. She got here just in time. I'm not, I'm not kidding. This is not her making a schedule for my kids. I thought it was at first and I was like, damn. I was like, what the? No, it was her trying to show me how little kids do in public school. Thank you, thank you, Trace. She, she wrote 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Roll call, just imagine it really sarcastically. She was being really kind. She tried to give me massages and stuff. Roll call, pledge. <laughs> That's an ammo. Announcements, etc. 15 minutes. Maybe longer than that, Trace. Collecting and checking homework, 15 minutes. Took longer with my high schoolers. Math, 45 minutes. I wonder what, wonder, wonder what grade she was thinking of. If she really remembers her elementary school schedule. That's impressive. She might. Okay, she wrote 15 minutes explain, 15 of silent practice, and 15 of checking it. Science, social studies, language arts, and history. Some days, music, art, and computers. PE, 30 minutes, recess, 30 minutes, and lunch, 30 minutes. They never gave us 30 minutes. I thought it was a Neptune. What's wrong with me? Nap time after lunch reading. Okay, so we are in elementary school. Problem students. <laughs> they do take up a lot of time. <coughs> we were problem students. Mm. This is waiting for bell. 15 minutes. At least 30 minutes of in between activities. And then she wrote lining up. Three hours minimum. She says you get about three hours of academics. Everything goes half pace with so many children. That's pretty good. I'm putting that in the book, Trace. That's the last page. And then she left, and I proceeded to try to kill myself for two years almost. Ugh. Why? That is called being in a cult, people. You can be anything to be a cult. If you can't let it go, and all of your warning signs are going off inside of you, I don't care what it is, Scientology, a marriage... Homeschooling, home studying, being a liberal, being an activist. I don't know what. <clears throat> if you're freaking out, everybody around you is encouraging you to continue doing it. That's a cult. Therese always wanted me to give it up. Did not listen to her because I was brainwashed by my friends. Christian didn't care. Trust me, Christian would have been happier. Oh my gosh. But then I wouldn't have my cool personality.com, personalitycafe.com life that I have now. This cool desk and my cool apartment and my cool roommates. Extremely happy with my life. Please stop asking me if I'm okay. My kids are okay, they're getting a break. Whatever, man, it's fine. They're all fine. I am fine. Do not ask me if I'm okay. I'm obviously more okay than you.